Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's Christmas Eve if you're watching this on the day it was released. If not, still, hope you're having a good day. This <coughs> is Bertha Butters Wagon, one of the most awaited releases of all time. She was cancelled back in the final lap collection in either 2010 or 2011. It kind of went across both years. And then finally, <coughs> uh, either 12 or 11 years later, whichever one it actually was, she finally got released in the 2022 mainline as a single. There were some prototypes of her circulating. I know that I think there's actually one on eBay as of right now for a pretty ridiculous price considering she has already been released as a die cast now. If that seller was going and was selling this thing a year ago, definitely could have made some bank. But I mean, the Walmart li the Walmart listing was found for her back in like September of last year, and the hype was just pretty big until she was finally released in Case J, which also included Dana Crankoff and Revenue Grillante. She does have this expression. She is looking to her right in the movie up at Mac, who is making a ridiculous expression in the back of a tanker truck's uh, tank, I guess you could say. Mac is making that silly face, and Bertha's driving by, and she's looking all concerned at Mac. Got a little bit, mar bit of marker on my finger. She is a beautiful green color. Absolutely love the green cars, like Dan Schlarkenberg. Got like TJ, Edwin Cranks, all look very, very nice. I just have the concerned expression. She does have an outline around her eyes. The prototype did not have that. Of course, the prototype was from China, and this is Thailand. So the eyes are a little bit grainy. Specifically, you know, like the eyelids. On the side, nothing too special. I mean, you have the wheels. I think I absolutely adore this model. It's like a cute little compact coupe, I suppose. I hope we get more, because as far as I believe, we only have one other car with this model, which I'll compare to Bertha shortly. Both sides are the same. She does have a license plate. It reads ML1115. If I can get my camera back on the stand. ML1115. I do believe that appears on some other cars as well. I can't quite tell where she's from though. As I was saying, there is one other car that shares the model. And that would be Polly Puddle Jumper. A King fan that's been released a couple times over the years. She was also a 2010 new release, but I mean, it was not canceled. I love Polly as well. As I said, I do really like this model. Of course, chain the uh, colors are different. They have ever so slightly different wheels. Looks like Bertha's have a little bit more texture when it comes to the outsides. They're also a little thinner, I want to say, or a little bit smaller actually. The rims on Polly appear to be bigger. They did use different license plates, which is nice to see. She is one of the few cars we got that were from, I guess, the highway. Other cars I might put into this would be Duff Rex, Leroy Traffic, all the cat are the trucks that appear at the truck stop, such as Oliver Lightload, Chet Box, Box Car, yeah, Chet Box Car, Ben and Crankle Shaft. You could also go, if you wanted to, you could really go Mac or the Delinquent Road Hazards. I believe that's what they're called, right? You could also go for maybe an actual accelerator if you're feeling a little bit risky. So, I mean, here's some of the other high rate cars. Like, you got Leroy Traffic before the snow tires. And you also got Duff Rex. It's a plain white truck. Pretty forgotten about so yeah, Bertha, Bodger's Wagon. I think in her Meet the Cars bio, it says that she like makes custom license plates. So that's a fun little fact about her. Probably a top five release of 2022. It might be bumped down a notch just based on the fact that we have seen her before as a canceled car and a prototype. But even with that, she's probably top five. I guess it knocks out some of like the 
mystery surrounding her. But still, as I said plenty of times, a very nice car indeed. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.